Hello, grade 9 students! Welcome to our online class. In this video, you will learn how to solve a quadratic equation using the four methods. And the four methods in solving quadratic equations are extracting square root, factoring, completing the square, and using the quadratic formula. Now, let's recall first what is a quadratic equation. A quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2, meaning the highest exponent of the equation is 2. And this can be written in standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. Examples of quadratic equations are x squared equals 25, x squared minus 9 equals 0, x squared plus 9x plus 8 equals 0, x squared plus 16 equals 0, 6x squared plus 18x equals 0, and many more. Now, let's have the first example x squared equals 25. This equation is in the form x squared equals k. So, we can easily solve this equation using the first method, which is extracting the square root. When we say extracting the square root, we will just simply getting the square root of both sides of the equation. Now, let's solve x squared equals 25. Again, to solve this equation, we will get the square root of both sides of the equation. So, we will get the square root of x squared and also get the square root of 25. Now, let's simplify. The square root of x squared is x. As you can see, we cancelled out the square root symbol and the exponent 2. This is just like a shortcut method of finding the square root of a squared number. But we are actually finding the number that when we multiply to itself will give you x squared. So when we multiply x to itself, x times x, the result is x squared. That's why the square root of x squared is x. Now, what number that when you multiply to itself will result to 25? Very good, it is 5. Because 5 times 5 is 25. Therefore, the square root of 25 is positive negative 5. Why is it positive and negative 5 and not only positive 5? Remember that our exponent of quadratic equation is 2. Again, the exponent of a quadratic equation is 2. So, we are expecting two values of x. If you want to check, multiply negative 5 to itself or square negative 5. So, what's the result? Yes, it is also 25. So, negative 5 is also a solution or root to the equation x squared equals 25. And so with positive 5. Hence, the solutions of the equations or the roots of the equation x squared equals 25 or x sub 1 equals negative 5 and x sub 2 equals positive 5. Take note that the solutions or roots of the quadratic equation are values of x or any variable that make the quadratic equation true. And in this case, the solutions or roots are negative 5 and 5. I think you are ready to solve the next equation. Now, let's solve x squared minus 9 equals 0. 
Is this equation in the form x squared equals k? Not yet. So we will apply the addition property of equality or famously known as transposition to make this equation in the form x squared equals k. So, by addition property of equality or transposition, we will move or transpose negative 9 to the right and it will become positive 9. When we transpose a number or a variable, we can also or we will also need to change its sign. That's why negative 9 becomes positive 9. But if this is positive 9, when we transpose it, it will become negative 9. So, is it clear? Okay, that's good. Now, the equation is already in the form x squared equals k. So, we can now get the square root of both sides of the equation. Getting the square roots of both sides, we have the square root of x squared equals the square root of 9. Now, let us simplify this. The square root of x is x, and the square root of 9 is equal to positive and negative 3. Why? Because if we will multiply 3 to itself, 3 times 3, the result is 9. Hence, the solutions or roots of this equation x squared minus 9 equals 0 or x sub 1 equals negative 3 and x sub 2 equals positive 3. Another example of quadratic equation that can be solved by extracting square root is x squared plus 16 equals 0. Now, let's transpose positive 16 to the right. So we have x squared equals negative 16. Next, get the square root of both sides of the equation. So we have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of negative 16. So what is the square root of x squared? Very good. The square root of x squared is x. How about the square root of negative 16? Oops. The square root of a negative number is imaginary or i. So, what is the square root of negative 16? Take note that the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. Again, the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So, we can rewrite the square root of negative 16 to the square root of 16 times negative 1. The square root of 16 is equal to 4, while the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. Therefore, the square root of negative 16 is 4i, and 4i is not a real number. Therefore, the equation x squared plus 16 equals 0 has no real solutions or roots. To help you solve a quadratic equation in the form x squared equals k, let's have these following properties. First, if k is greater than 0 or if k is positive, then x squared equals k has two real solutions or roots. And the roots are x equals positive negative square root of k. Examples of these roots are the roots of the first two equations, x equals positive negative 5 and x equals positive negative 3. And if k is equal to 0, then x squared is equal to k has only one real solution or roots. And that solution is always x equals 0. Lastly, if k is less than 0 or if k is negative, then x squared equals k has no real solutions or roots. Just like in our last example, in the equation x squared plus 16 equals 0. Okay class, is it clear to you how to solve a quadratic equation by extracting square roots?
If yes, let's now proceed to the second method which is factoring. By the way, the second method factoring can be found in the part 2 of this video. So, to continue to the part 2 of this video, please click the link below. By the way, if you also learned from this video and you want to receive a notification, please click the subscribe button below and click the notification bell all for more videos. Thank you for watching class and have a happy learning. Bye! See you support you!